So this episode is really a quick benchmark test. This is my M2 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is the top spec one that you could buy in 2023. It's fully loaded. The spec of this one is the M2 Max 12 core CPU, I'm having to read this, 38 core GPU and 96 gigs of unified memory. So this was the top spec one that you could buy at the time. I've now replaced this with this one. So this is the 14 inch, this is the M4 Max. So they're both Max, but this the old one's the M2, this is the M4. And this is the lowest spec one you can get. So this is 1500 pounds cheaper than the fully loaded model. So this is 14 core CPU, 32 core GPU, and only 36 gigs of unified memory. Now I went for the 14 inch because it's much easier for me to carry around. I found the 16 inch much as I love the screen size. This when I'm traveling is just slightly too big. So I've gone for the 14, but just before I ship this off, I don't need two MacBook Pros. I thought let's do a benchmark test and see whether this low spec M4 Max is actually quicker than the M2 fully spec Max. So in order to really put these two laptops through their paces, I wanted a good project in DaVinci Resolve that uses Fusion, it's got titles, it's got depth map, it's using 6K, 8K, 4K footage, all sorts of different things to really put the laptops through their paces. Now, my good friends at Team 2 Films, Natalie and Leon, have just released a video last month where they've devised a really good benchmark test that you can download for free. Now, the beauty of this is if I use their their benchmark test, my results can be posted onto their site and you can compare these two laptops with all the other postings that have gone up there. So let's get straight on with it and let's start the test. So let's start off with the M2 Max. This is the 16 inch MacBook Pro M2 Max, but remember this one's fully loaded. This is a fully loaded machine. So the H.264 default, which Team 2 films have asked for, rendered out in six minutes, two seconds. That's 362 seconds total. I also did a ProRes Quad 4 export, again in Ultra HD, because this is what I normally master to, and that came out at six minutes, one second. So just one second faster. Now for my YouTube videos, I render out at H.265 10 bit at 80 megabytes a second. So I did that test as well, coming in at six minutes, three seconds. So they're all just over the six minute mark. So let's now do the test with the M4 Max and see if it's gonna be any better. Remember, this is the lowest spec M4 Max MacBook Pro that you can get today. So the H.264 export came in at five minutes, 38 seconds. That's 24 seconds faster than the M2 Max. The ProRes Quad 4 test came in again at five minutes, 38 seconds. That is 23 seconds faster than the M2 Max. And surprisingly, the H.265 at 80 megabits a second, 10 bit, only beat the M2 Max by eight seconds, but it still beat it. Remember, this is the lowest spec M4 Max that you can get. The M2 Max is the highest spec one that you can get. So I think it's fair to assume that if this M4 Max was fully loaded, it would be running even faster. So I'm pleased that I did do this benchmark test on my own products before I shipped this M2 Max off to its new owner. I didn't want to fully spec this one. I use this for travel, so I've saved myself about £1,500 in spec. That's not including storage upgrades. So I'm really pleased with this. It's performing absolutely fantastically. Thanks to Natalie and Leon at Team 2 Films. Go and check them out. I'll put a link to that in the description. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next episode.